Hey guys, welcome back to Aussie Custling Garage. So, today, trailer shit again. Um, I've actually painted the other side just using a, a paint roller. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys the other side of what it looks like. I haven't finished off this guard on here. The other side I haven't, but I'll weld it up. But this is what it come up like with that hammer tone. Hammer tone looks pretty good besides obviously, like I said, that, that rust section, but I'll fix it. Um, yeah. So, come along good, very good. Um, all I'm using is, it's a bit hard to see, but this um, wagon paints, charcoal, whatever you want to call it, hammer tone. <laughs> It'll do what I want it to do. Um, so yeah, I'll give, give the top of this guard here a um, little bit more of a sand. Get rid of all the top coat off of it. Um, you rest that chassis rail. But <clears throat> yeah, it should, should come up looking good, I reckon. So my wife and I will get stuck into that now and see how it comes up, I guess. Alright guys, so as you've seen in that little little time lapse, all I'm using is the roller, like I've said. Just a little bit of paint on there, it doesn't need much. Um, and this stuff covers really, really well, so just run him along. I do have enough here to do quite a few coats, so I'll probably do quite a few coats on it. Um, but yeah, it'll, it'll come up looking good, I reckon, this boat. Get into all the little nooks and crannies. Obviously, I'm not going to go too overboard. We're trying to get everywhere, um, mainly for the fact of you know the boat's not off the off the trailer. So <clears throat> this is what it is. Um, maybe one day I'll be lucky enough to have the boat off the trailer um, and get it all done properly. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. So I'll get the top of this other guard done here. I'm just, I'm only using a little foam brush, nothing, nothing special. Do the top of the guard now. It does take quite well to it, so, which is good. And because it is a hammer tone, it will fill in a lot of that crap that's on top, like that surface rust. I call the pitting that's in it. And see how it's all starting to go all wrinkly. That's the texture that we want for it. So that'll look good. Um, but yeah, trailer's looking a million bucks. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, and it uses bugger or paint, which is even better and I don't have to I don't have to spray it I put the spray gun there ready to do it but I thought I'd give this go give this a go first it's um obviously a lot easier than than doing it with a spray gun than having to mix everything up and stuff around um and it's quite therapeutic anyway doing this Yeah, you can see how it's starting to get that wrinkle really, really prominent in it now. So it'll come up really nice and it flattens off really nicely too. Very happy with it, very, very happy. Now, I do plan on getting checker plate, checker plate aluminium checker plate for, for the back sections of the guards, top sections of the guards right up until where that welded spot is. But the same thing across the front, the same thing across the, the, um, the very front section. But now it's just coming up great. Next thing I'll do, I'll take the wheels off of it, 
take that wheel that keeps going flat to Bob Jane to get fixed. Um, I want a wire wheel up underneath the guards because it's all, flip that camera around. It's pretty bad up underneath. It's probably upside down for you guys, but it's good enough. Um, then I'll probably, probably get a couple of cans or even a can of just, um, I think they do like an underbody putty spray that you can put up under there, like anti-chip stuff. So that'll do for under there. And, oh, that's coming along nicely. I want to do that, that hub upgrade so I can put forward wheels on it instead of these HQs. Um, and yeah, just the interior stuff, but we'll keep going along with this and I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's practically all painted. All right, guys, it's the da next day. Um, I've jacked up the trailer <clears throat> so I could start sanding all up inside of there. I've just chucked the Commodore stocky on there just to see, you know, if I get away of running Commodore stockies on it, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be plausible with this so i've got to figure out a way of making that work so get in there seeing all that with the um knot brush <coughs> then i'll be painting it with this dupli color bed armor so just in the black um hoping that it should come up pretty good obviously it's going to take a fair while to grind all that back i'll obviously hit all the back of the chassis rail and all the top of the um the springs there the leaf springs um, give, give them all a bit of a, a bit of a paint up, clean that disc up. I was actually just talking to Basho then. Um, when I do that hub upgrade, I'll probably end up putting electric brakes on the front. Piss off the whole brake, uh, manual disc brake. Um, just to make it a little bit safer and more easier to drive. Especially with where we'll be living on the Gold Coast and having to tow it up through the mountains and stuff. You know, I don't particularly want to rely on that old school sort of a system so electric brakes would be the go and my camper trailer is also electric brakes so why not have the best of both worlds and yeah we'll go from there all right guys got it all scratched back enough to run that raptor liner sort of stuff the chassis rail i'm not going to do only because i'm going to paint it the same hematone as what the trailer is which that won't be tonight i'll do that off camera um so i can finish up this video and get it get it put out get this top of the guard all finished with some aluminium checker plate but i'll paint this up now with this dupli color and see what it comes up like all right so i've got that that um raptor coating whatever you want to call it all up inside there now um actually sprays out really really well so I'm really happy with that. Just gave it a quick hit over with the um, the leaf springs there. Uh, so, chassis rail is going to be painted. I've got to get another brush tomorrow. Um, then obviously a few more coats across the boat. Trailer. I'm not too concerned about filming those. Um, do need to get some checker plate and some longer chain for the the front of the draw bar there it's too short for my colorado so i'll get that from bunnings legally it's supposed to be a dual a dual um dual chain on both sides crossed over to the car so in case this hitch obviously breaks or lets go lands on that and doesn't sway everywhere and land on the road um obviously i still want to do the other side I'll weld up that little little section there tomorrow as well. Uh, that's all coming along pretty good. It, I'm having fun with it. I seem to be getting a lot of a oh, little bit of feedback with it, um, with what I'm doing with it. So people aren't completely hating what I'm doing. Uh, sorry, my voice is a little bit shit at the moment. I do have a little bit of a cold. No, it's not COVID. But, <clears throat> yeah, that'll probably end up this, um, this one anyway. The, 
the trail is, like I said, it's come along nicely. I'm really enjoying doing it. So make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Uh, and then I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.